Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today for the passing out parade of Cohort 3 of the Cayman Islands Regiment. These men and women in the procession have been handpicked to be the newest members of the regiment. They will now be known as reservists, which means that they have full-time jobs and in many cases, families, but will give their spare time to serve Cayman and support the community. They are being led by Major Shoreland Ball, the recce squadron leader of the Royal Dragoon Guards. He is the commanding officer of the British Army Training Team, sent by the UK Ministry of Defence to lead the training course. Cohort 3 received this training from the short-term training team, led by the Royal Dragoon Guards, but has individuals drawn from the Household Cavalry, Princess of Wales Royal Regiment, Royal Engineers, and the Royal Army Medical Corps. The training team has over 140 years of experience across a spectrum of military activity. These 29 young men and women will join colleagues from the two previous intakes in standing ready to serve the Cayman Islands when their country needs them. I am sure everyone here today will want to join me in thanking them for their future service. In this cohort, there are 14 Caymanians and the regiment is over 65% Caymanian. It is excellent that so many young Caymanians see the value in serving their country in this way. The new recruits before us have just been through a very rigorous training program delivered by a short-term training team from the British Army. I would like to thank the 14-person training team for the investment they have made in our regiment. Led by Major Shawland Ball of the Royal Dragoon Guards, they are all experts in their own field. And our people, our recruits, will have benefited greatly from the 15 days they have had being trained by this team. Five Marines from the Turks and Caicos Islands also joined them to receive advanced training from these trainers. And this was a great opportunity for the regiment to work with our regional partners and to get to know them better. Disaster preparedness and response is key to the work of the regiment. It is its primary purpose. And the regiment has already been tested and proved its worth. They have rescued people from flooded homes after tropical storms, distributed food aid to families in need whilst in COVID quarantine, and cleared storm debris and so much more. Our regiment can produce drinking water from seawater, prepare food for hundreds, and set themselves up um, in a self-sufficient camp with their own energy. Cayman is better placed to respond to natural disasters thanks to the dedication of this group, who in return are learning many valuable transferable skills. This regiment is a major asset for our jurisdiction, and I am proud of the extraordinary progress we have made with UK support as it goes from strength to strength. Almighty God, who taught us to love thy neighbour, protect us as we strive to protect others, and help us as we seek to help those in need, through fair weather and foul, through calm seas and tempests, give us the courage to choose the moral path and guide us home to our rock of salvation. Amen. <laughs>